What is up you guys? I'm Myolus. This is Fortnite Save the World and today uh, we're doing a quick tips video on the survivor squads. Now uh, you guys real quick, I make videos usually about like twice a week or so on Fortnite or really whatever other game I'm having a blast with at the time. So if you like this video and you want to see more, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. I love hearing from you guys, love seeing you guys. Uh, so anyway, so let's just get right on into it. So today I'm going to attempt to explain the basics of the survivor squads in, in just a few minutes and this is in no way a complete review if you want something more detailed uh, there are some good like half hour long videos on the subject uh, yes it can be that complicated but i'm gonna try to get into it i'm gonna try to hit the main points in, in five or so minutes and get this ish done so you can quickly get to boosting those stats filling up those survivor squads and just killing it in the game uh, but you guys, real quickly, a little bit of background. Fortnite is, Save the World is a little bit different than most games in terms of leveling up or improving your hero. So when you go to your primary hero, when you look at your hero slots, you'll see that you'll have health, you have shield, uh, but right underneath that you'll see that you have fortitude, offense, resistance, and tech. And these values uh, help improve each of those uh, abilities, right? And so these, these numbers are really increased. Uh, primarily by the survivor squads that's what that's what gets you a lot of these boosts and so uh, there's multiple squads being the EMT squad that boosts fortitudes there's the fire team alpha which boosts offense the gadgeteers which boosts resistance uh, the corpse of engineering which boosts tech the training team fortitude again close assault squad offense scouting party resistance think tank tech again we have two squads for for each of these individual stats right we had two that boosted fortitude to that boosted offense, etc. Now, adding people to these squads increases your respective stat, uh, depending on the group that that survivor is being placed in, right? AMT squad, you're going to boost fortitude, stuff like that. And to unlock the personnel in these squads, you can see not all of mine are unlocked. You don't unlock all of them until you get uh, to much, much higher levels. But to unlock these people, uh, you have to uh, obtain the proper nodes in, in the skill tree or in the research tree, as you can see right here. And those will lead to unlocking those positions for your survivors right and when placing uh, survivors in the survivor squads you will actually notice that there is this position called a leader the lead survivor and this is one of the most important uh, players in the survivor squads as they have the largest impact on your stats and on top of that they're the only survivors that can come in a mythic rarity you can identify a lead survivor by the crown in the bottom left of this survivor card and you can tell which survivor squad they belong to by that symbol in the bottom right you'll notice too that there is an additional symbol on these cards in the kind of in the middle and that is their personality right and their personality is going to come into play as we start looking at the squad members and speaking of the squad members right there are slots for just these regular survivors however uh, just putting your most leveled up survivor in here isn't always the best idea because there are two ways to really improve uh, your rewards beyond just the level that that survivor is at first off you're going to want to match your survivor's personality uh, to the personality of the lead survivor remember i mentioned that that personality trait is kind of that it's that symbol in 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 the middle of that lead survivor so the personality is represented by this symbol right here and you will notice that these survivors that have the same same personality have a higher power number than those that do not even if they're the same even if these two survivors uh, have the same level or are upgraded the same amount you'll notice if there's this if there's a personality match their power level is greater but secondly there's an additional perk that you can get from these survivors and if you notice on the on the right hand side bottom right of these survivor cards you'll notice that there is a set bonus and uh, what happens is if you get matches, typically it's going to be two or three, depending on the uh, bonus that you are looking at. But if you get two of these survivors in there with the same bonus, you will be able to get that bonus step. For example, in my EMT squad, I have a plus 5% health bonus that I'm getting from having two people that have this heart. Uh, in there as their as their set bonus right there are uh, plenty of other set bonuses you kind of just got to play around figure out what you want uh, and uh, yeah and so lastly one thing that is important uh, to realize is that these survivors are kind of the main people for leveling up by mid game you'll have a significant number of epic survivors and you'll still have quite a few legendary survivors as well try to use as many of the legendaries and, and epics as you can i wouldn't mess too much with the with the uncommons and rares but that's pretty much it for the survivor squads and you will see once you've got those things filled out your level is going to skyrocket and you're going to be able to do so much more throughout this game
Anyways, though, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was my quick tips on Survivor Squads. Uh, but I'm Iolus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.